Hi everyone, Doug King here. Uh, September 8th is coming real quick, so we just wanted to go over some things with you about uh, how we're keeping staff and, and students safe. First and foremost, before you come to school, make sure you have no symptoms of COVID-19, no uh, cough or fever. If you do, if you're not feeling well at all, stay at home and contact your, your uh, health care provider. Other than that, come on inside and we'll, uh, we'll see what we've been doing inside. When you come into the school and at various entrances throughout the school, there are sanitation um, setups here so and signs that give you instructions on how to sanitize your hands. Just keeping our hands clean is very important. Um, every time after recess, using the bathroom, eating, every time you come in and out, please sanitize your hands. Many of you might not know this, but Mrs. Johansson retired at the end of the year. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Ken Keyes. He's our new addition to our janitorial staff, along with Mrs. Wittruck. They're working really hard, cleaning and disinfecting the schools, the classrooms. They even got a big sprayer unit to, to spray sanitation. So I uh, just wanted to give Mr. Keyes uh, an opportunity to say hi. Hello. When you visit the office or the library, Mrs. Sleva and Mrs. Golitsky, you will notice that they are working behind protective plexiglass. Staying hydrated is really important. Uh, student needs their own personal water bottle. And fortunately, in case you don't have one, two of our local Tupperware representatives are donating water bottle for each student. This is our water bottle fill station down by the gym. And in one of our newly renovated high school uh, classrooms, you'll see that, that it's nice and open and clean. We're doing our best within all of our classrooms to remove as much furniture as possible and make sure to, to ensure that there's enough kind of room for physically distancing. So when you come back to your classrooms, especially in the high school, they will look different. But also in the elementary school, some of the, the uh, furniture will be moved around so we're able to space everybody out a little bit more. If anyone gets sick during the day, one of our highly trained staff members will take them into a room uh, like this. We will call your parents. We will make sure that uh, you're comfortable and well taken care of until we can, we can get your parents to pick you up and then go see a healthcare provider. Okay, masks or no masks. Grades 4 to 12 students are required to wear a mask when they come to school. For K to 3, it's highly encouraged. It can be a reusable mask or a disposable mask. And if you happen to forget yours, we've got you covered. Looking after our mental health is still really, really important to us here at Preschool School. So Mr. Folk is going to be still going to be available for all of our students if they need to come talk to him about anything that's going on. So rest assured, Mr. Folk will still be here to look after our, our student body. We're all excited to see each other again, but it's really important to maintain the six feet uh, social distancing where possible. No handshakes, hugging, high fives, uh, just a wave. <laughs> uh, we all have to do our part in keeping each other safe. With everything that's been going on with COVID-19, there's been a lot of changes in the education system and within our school. What hasn't changed though is the staff here at Preschool School, how much we care and want to provide a safe learning um, environment for all of our students. So that's not going to change. We're still going to, going to do our best to have the best educational experience while being safe because what's really important is that we look after each other, our school community, and then our greater community as well. So can't wait to see you on September 8th. There'll be more information coming on staggered openings. Uh, stay tuned. Can't wait to see you guys.